Hey, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gym Wellness. Today's tip is about um, can you work out when you're pregnant? Um, should you work out when you're pregnant? Those types of things. We, we were in a discussion yesterday and uh, here at the gym. And I mean, I've been doing this, as you all know, um, over 23 years. <clears throat> now, through the years, I've had pregnant women. Um, and um, so I was pregnant women as if I'm gonna have pregnant men no I'm just saying you know what I'm saying shut up the sun's not out yet and I'm tired um, <clears throat> but I got Janet on my shirt so all is good so yes pregnant women can work out one thing I mean there's 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 few things that you need to look for um, have you worked out before you were pregnant if not I would say you know definitely watch what you're doing definitely have limitations maybe just walk walk around the neighborhood walk around the school track walk on a treadmill maybe do the elliptical um, but all in all definitely do not take anything I say like as written in stone but definitely talk to your doctor first and you know get everything and anything that you need to look out for blood pressure heart rate you know I mean it depends on the pregnancy is it easy pregnancy is a hard pregnancy do you have to be bedridden obviously you have to be bedridden then you're not going to be able to work out so through my years of working out I've had several different training there I've had several different people that I've trained and that I've seen in the gym for instance years ago I had a lady who was going to be induced she had just ran a marathon she was pregnant she was maybe eight and a half eight you know almost nine months pregnant so I mean she was almost ready to blow you know um, and she had just finished a marathon in Chicago okay I would not suggest that for every single pregnant woman but she was a runner and she did this and so her body was used to it so you, you know um, but I still probably would say you know what you might want to not do that but it's her body she consulted her doctor and whatever they discussed and whatever her final decision was her final decision she ran that marathon that day I saw her when she told me you know that she had ran that marathon a couple of weeks ago that day she was on the elliptical giving it hell you know she jumped off she was she proceeded to tell me that the following day tomorrow of that day she was going to be induced at 5 30 a.m. I'm like what the frick are you doing in the gym and she's like I have to work out so she proceeded to go do some weights and stuff like that well she felt little pressure on her back and you know just pressure in the baby kicking and stuff and she's like oh my god you know I'm just gonna do one more set and I have to you know I, I have to stop and you know there's pressure there's pain blah 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 so I'm like look you're being induced tomorrow seriously listen to your body stop you can stop today you don't have to work out today um, so she did I've had, when I worked over at another gym, I was training a lady, um, we were doing chest, now we were, she was able to do flat press, um, and she still stayed doing the heavy weights, why? Because she was used to it. So that's the key, is your body used to it. So if your body's used to it and it's a normal pregnancy, there's no issues, I personally say you can, you can do it. If you have thoughts or whatever, you want to lessen the weights or something like that, you know, definitely it's preference. Um, it's preference and it's what your doctor says, um, it, you know, that kind of thing. And, and if you do have, you know, limitations of certain things, but then of course, when you get to a certain trimester, you can't lay flat. So when, when me and this, this lady that was pregnant, you know, we stopped doing the flat press and we just always did the incline press and some flies and, you know, and, um, you know, fly on the machine and, and you know things like that um, so her body was still used to that and everything was fine and then of course she got to a certain point you know closer to the end of her pregnancy where you know she just did walking on the treadmill the elliptical that kind of thing and then had the baby and you know took the necessary time off and came back and we just started training again not skipping a beat so to speak so the thing is if your body is used to working out continue doing it um, you know, you might want to lessen the weights if, if you feel like, you know what, it's, it's not worth a risk of such and such or whatever. You might just want to, you know, lift maybe weight up like the band resistance just to keep some muscle tone and just do walking on the treadmill just to keep working out. Because obviously if you're used to working out and you do work out and you continue to work out through the pregnancy, having the baby 
is that much easier. I mean, I don't know because I've never had a baby, but I'm talking to you from experience from my clients that have had babies. They said definitely when I worked out with this child, it, the pregnancy was so much easier than with this one because I couldn't work out with this one, or you know I had to stop working out halfway through, and so the pregnancy was a little, you know, the, the, having the baby, you know, the actual labor and stuff like that was a little bit harder. So there are different ways, different limitations, different styles, different types. You know, the, the main thing is you, the doctor, your limitations, um, if you have limitations, um, you know, if the pregnancy is an easy pregnancy, if there's, if there's complications, if the doctor feels there's complications, you, you know, but all in all, I mean, I've seen women in the gym, pregnant, and I mean pregnant, ready to blow, working out, maybe lessening the weights or just doing, you know, some, you know, hit training without the weights, you know, where you're just doing fast paced things, body, you know, like push ups and, um, you know, band resistance and just kind of trying to keep mo moving. Now, that said, I also have a friend that does uh, CrossFit, and she was pregnant. She was still doing, you know, the clean and jerks and snatches and all that stuff um, while she was pregnant. Um, so, you know, you, you can, that's, if you, you can, if your body is used to it, and if there are no restrictions or limitations or if the pregnancy is not bad. Definitely consult the doctor. Um, you know, definitely, you know, listen to the body. Um, you know, if you set out to do some weights or weight resistance with the bands and stuff like that and the body, you know, you're, you know, the baby's kicking or you're having some pain or something, listen to the body and just maybe walk on the treadmill or, or ride the bike. Um, but you can, if you're used to being active, you can stay active through your pregnancy. And it definitely helps the pregnancy and it definitely, definitely helps labor. But all in all, consult your physician. Stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.